all right there how you're all doing a bit colder today i think we've got the first bite of autumn coming into play but i like the autumn so it doesn't bother me just put on a few extra layers in it I've just got a jumper on under my denim jacket today i'm absolutely fine so yeah unfortunately i think we've definitely got the second wave coming now for coronavirus we've all been locked down for at least I think six months and I think we have got the second wave coming so it's a bit concerning really but the main thing I can say is uh, just be well prepared for it and it's the best you can do look after yourselves stay safe and we'll see the other side of this all right all right So you've all probably been following all the depressing stuff on the news about it. I mean, I try and minimise how much I spend watching the news. Uh, mainly I have a look in the morning and in the evening and I don't dwell on it. Apart from that, you get enough information that you need to know from that. So it is important to follow it, but not to get drawn too much into it and obsessed with it. One of the main things that I noticed and I thought, well, we've definitely got second wave coming is You've got all these panic buyers going out again at the moment and it's just started luckily this time they've put uh, they put things in place more or less straight away as soon as it started so in tesco's where i usually go they've got restrictions on three items only for certain things that everyone seems to panic buy so i don't think it's going to be anything near as bad as it was at the beginning of the first wave so yeah it's not something i'm that worried about Things may change a bit, but I don't think it's, we're going to be anywhere near the mess we were in at the beginning of it, or last time anyway. But I don't think we'll be revisiting those dire days when, you know, there's no toilet roll or pasta. I think we've got systems in place this time, so it should be a bit easier for us all. One of the things that has been a real drag to me is uh, public transport. I don't drive a car anyway, I used to have a motorbike years ago but at the moment I've got no vehicle so I rely on public transport um, and I've been avoiding it for over six months now because it's just been a bit risky on public transport and I was a bit concerned that it was you know a bit dodgy so but I thought if it's going to go on for another six months at least as I can't keep avoiding public transport because I need to go places and you know I like to go for nice walks in different areas from where you know my immediate locality so I thought right let's do something about it what can I do so what I've done is I've gone and upgraded my masks I normally wear the fabric mask but I think for public transport I've got something a bit more special it's kind of like a half face gas mask respirator I think it's called Jupiter or something like that it's like a, a workplace respirator like people breathing in fumes gases and things like that and dust but it's also protection this one against biological threats so i thought it's a really good gas mask it wasn't that expensive i think it was about 18 pound from ebay so you know you buy a five pack of uh, normal mask can be like 5.99 for the cloth ones so you know you get through a few packs of them easy so i thought for 18 quid that's going to make me feel confident now about using public transport uh, obviously with the hand gels and gloves if you think you need them but for this mask I feel like when it comes I'll show it you this is the picture of it here so uh, with this I'm going to feel miles better going on public transport and pretty safe really so so yeah that's uh, my reaction to this second lockdown is uh, I can't keep avoiding public transport so what can I do to make it safer so I can use it so that's my thing some think some people might think these masks are a bit extreme but you know for me if that makes me feel safe then that's what I'm going to do uh, I also quite like gas masks that kind of look I think it's got a kind of a Darth Vader vibe going I think I have to get a a cape as well and then uh yeah <laughs> so yeah like i was saying i should be able to get to some different places and uh take you guys with me on some of my walks
and of course with this second wave coming um, I was very concerned as I imagine a lot of people are concerned so if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like and subscribe and until the next video stay safe take care bye